I've been building this tiny OLED gadget that fits in your pocket. It runs mini apps and games that you can load. It could be a game, a tool, or something completely new. Today I'll show you how to make one yourself. I'm going to design the device around this PCB for two reasons. Number one, I want it to be easily buildable by anyone. And number two, I want it to be modular. We'll talk more about that later. And here are the components inside the device. The microcontroller used is a Zhao NRF52840 from Seed Studio. A 12 mm push button. A 1.3 inch OLED display. A sliding switch and a small battery. We are using this microcontroller because it has an onboard gyroscope and a microphone. This means we don't need extra modules. To make the microcontroller as low profile as possible, I am using round header pins. And on the microcontroller, I have soldered bare pins that I took out of jumper cables. Let me solder the header pins first. Next, the button and the switch. The only thing left is the battery. The circuit is now ready. The circuit diagram is linked in the description. So, I said this device will be modular. Because you can swap any Zhao board in this slot later on, with different sensors, this one has a mic and a gyroscope, but no Wi-Fi. Maybe you can swap it for a board with Wi-Fi if you want. Let's make a 3D printed case for our device. I'm making this with Autodesk Fusion. And straight to our 3D printer. And voila! I'm using two millimeter screw inserts for the screws. Let's fit everything together. I will put a cap on the button so that it can be pressed directly from the top of the case. Before we close the case, we need to program the microcontroller. This board needs to be put in bootloader mode to be programmed. And for that, we need to connect it to the computer and tap the reset button twice, which is this tiny button here. Once the board is in bootloader mode, it will show up as a mass storage device on your computer. Then you can just copy one of the UF2 files directly to it. These are available on the Tech Talkies GitHub. I'll show you some of them. So I copy the RGB LED file, open the device and paste it here. It will automatically reboot. This is a test program that changes the colors of the onboard LED when you press the button. The next one is an infinite maze. Every time you clear the level, it generates a new one.
You can also press the button to generate a new level. You will never get bored. My favorite one is this Air Mouse. Just connect to the device in Bluetooth settings, and you can use it as an Air Mouse. This works on Android TVs and mobile phones as well. Then there is also a simple Flappy Bird game. I'm still working on getting the onboard mic to work for an audio meter, and I will make more mini apps like these in the future, and maybe even make everything into a single firmware. Comment your ideas. If you need any help making something like this, leave a comment.